Hello, it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House, a little place to find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. And happy Thanksgiving if you guys cele if you celebrate it. And today I'm in our dining room and going to get it all warm and cozy for Christmas time. I'll be putting up some really pretty red curtains in our little hutch here. And I'll also be using lots of nature inspired Christmas decor in this room just to have more of an earthy and winter magic feel to the room. But as always, I'm really glad you're here with me today and welcome if you are new and thank you for inviting me into your home this Christmas. I'm also going to be making southern style red beans and rice for dinner tonight, so I hope you're able to cook along with me after we cozy up the dining room. So I wanted to tell a little story about this hutch. We bought it at an antique store in Amish country, which is about an hour away from where we live. And we usually drive out there about twice a year, once in the spring, to buy hanging baskets, baked goods, bulk items such as salt, sugars, things like that. And then once again in autumn time to purchase hearty mums, oatmeal, spices, baking supplies for, for Thanksgiving and Christmas. But on the way there's a little, a cute little store where we bought the hutch from. It, we love stopping by there every time we go to the, the Amish stores. Now the hutch does have doors, but sometimes I'll take them off, like I, how I have it right now, so I can hang curtains in them. But other times I leave the doors on and I'll often um, have fabric hanging behind the glass. And that looks really pretty too, so it's fun to be creative with pieces of, of furniture, especially with the older ones like this. So now that the curtains have been put up, I'm going to add some nature inspired decor to the inside of the hutch. Now I'm on a little bit of a budget, I know most of us are, so I had one of those um, red and gold tea towels left over from when I was decorating in the kitchen. But I needed two of them and I didn't want to go out and spend more money, so I decided to carefully cut the fabric in half using my pinking shears so the edges don't ravel. And then after the hutch is decorated, I'll move on to our little white buffet table that we bought at the exact same little place on the way to Amish country. It 
Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strains Glory So after I realized the time, I decided to go ahead, get in the kitchen and get the red beans and rice going because it does need to simmer for quite some time and then I'll make my way back into the dining room to finish decorating the little white buffet table and to show you the finished room and how it, it all turned out. But you should definitely try this recipe. It's hearty and comforting for a cold winter's night. I experimented with several recipes and then finally came up with my own, but it's a great one pot meal and it feeds quite a lot of people. We have six in our family and have lots of leftovers, which is always nice. So I lit some more candles just to create a nice and warm ambiance in here while cooking. I'm going to start by chopping two medium sized onions as well as a green bell pepper and some fresh garlic. And then I'll show you how to go from there if you decide to make this warm and hearty meal at your home during this holiday season. Thank you. 
So after I sauteed the onion and bell pepper and olive oil for about 10 minutes, I added chopped garlic and sauteed it for about one minute. Then I added four cans of dark red kidney beans that had been rinsed and drained. And I added one teaspoon of dried paprika, one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning salt, one tablespoon of dried thyme. I'll leave the recipe down below. One bay leaf and freshly cracked black pepper. Now as far as salt and pepper goes, I like to season as I go. So while I was sauteing the vegetables, I added a pinch of salt and pepper. And I feel like food just simply tastes better this way. But if you need to adjust the salt and pepper to your own likely, liking, then definitely do so. I also added four cups of vegetable stock and a ham hock, which is very traditional in southern cooking. This not only adds lots of flavor, but it also thickens the dish tremendously. And while the beans are simmering until thickened, probably about 45 minutes or so, I'm going to finish decorating and then I'll go back into the kitchen and make some steamed brown rice along with some fresh green beans to go along with the red beans and rice. The snow is falling, there's magic all around. The streets are glow on a winter night. The road is calling us back to Fire's burning, nowhere else will go 